After spending several hours exploring Javnaker and searching for Linda's Norwegian connection, we head north to Lillehammer, where we will stay for the next four nights. Along the way, we drove through the Norwegian countryside and got a good look at the many valleys, rivers, and lakes that make up the interior landscape of Norway. We arrived in Lillehammer around 6 p.m. and checked into our hotel. This was another nice hotel with large, updated modern rooms. Breakfast, afternoon snacks, and a dinner buffet were included in the price of the room. They also had a parking garage under the hotel for us to park our rental car. Lillehammer is a town in Oppland County, Norway, with a population of about 27,000 and is located in the Gudbrandsdalen Valley. There is a pedestrian-only street one block from our hotel, with many places to shop and dine. Susan and Linda went there several times to check out the shops. Dale even found a store named after himself. Once again, Sue was obsessed with taking pictures of manhole covers and drains in the street. We were also close to the downtown area where the Lillehammer Art Museum is located. We walked there for coffee one morning to meet up with Einer and his wife Bodil to make plans for a trip to Imsdalen, the valley where my great-grandparents once lived. Lillehammer is internationally known as the city that hosted the 1994 Winter Olympics. While many Olympic events took place in Lillehammer, skating, ice hockey, and alpine skiing took place in other locations. The ski jumping hill in Lillehammer was the venue of the opening and closing ceremonies and is located just up the hill from our hotel. We drove up to see it during one of our days in Lillehammer. They were holding some type of youth ski jumping training, so we got to see a few do ski jumps. There was no snow, but they must have some type of material or special grass that mimics snow because they were all using regular ski jumping skis. We also rode the ski lift up to the top of the ski jumping area and then back down. The 1994 Lillehammer Olympics is perhaps best known for the drama between two members of the U.S. figure skating team, Tanya Harding and Nancy Kerrigan. One month before the games began, Tanya's husband conspired with a hitman to club Nancy Kerrigan in the knee in an attempt to knock Kerrigan out of the competition, presumably to give Tanya Harding a competitive edge. Tanya denied knowing anything about the plot and threatened to sue the U.S. Olympic Committee if they removed her from the team. Kerrigan recovered from her injuries in time to compete in the Olympics. Ukraine's Oksana Bayou won the gold with Nancy Kerrigan winning the silver. Tanya Harding finished eighth. After the games, more evidence emerged, forcing Tanya Harding to plead guilty to conspiring to hinder prosecution of her husband. She received probation, was stripped of her 1994 U.S. championship title, and was forced out of competitive figure skating.
Back in the early 1970s, my Uncle Bob and Aunt Annabelle were friends with a family who had a foreign exchange student from Norway that went to New London High School in Minnesota. The exchange student's name is Einar, and his wife's name is Bodil. Today they live north of Lillehammer, not far from Imsdalen, where my great-grandparents lived before immigrating to Minnesota. I got in touch with Einar before going on this trip, and he agreed to take us on a guided tour of Imsdalen. We started with an authentic Norwegian dinner at their house, which was absolutely fabulous. After dinner, we drove to Imsdalen. Along the way, we drove past more spectacular scenery and wondered why anyone would want to leave this place. Why did so many Norwegians leave their homeland to immigrate to America? Mm -hmm. 